on this steep slope and it just gave way and fell onto I-24. Uh, you are still watching as pieces of rock are falling onto the highway here. That is why the Tennessee Department of Transportation is telling us that they are not able to get engineers onto the ground here to look at this. It's just not safe. Uh, they want to be able to get these geotech engineers in here so that they can start surveying this land. Uh, but really, this situation right now is out of their control. Uh, there has been so much water saturating the earth here that it is still giving way. You can see a number of trees kind of perched precariously here on the edge of the, the earth uh, that also might just fall in here. When this happens, uh, there's really nothing that is safe. All of these trees kind of just swallowed up and pushed onto the highway. You can see boulders that probably weigh a few hundred tons are now on I-24 here. Again, let's kind of walk you through what has to happen. First, engineers need to get in here and try to figure out exactly what's going on with the earth to make sure that it is safe and to make sure that the uh, mudslide here won't happen again. Then it's gonna take quite a while for uh, big rig uh, guys and some heavy machinery to get out here and start moving all of this debris off of the highway. Uh, that's going to be one step in this process. Then they're gonna have to make sure that the cliff's face here is structurally sound uh, before they can reopen the highway. We are now hearing from the Tennessee Department of Transportation that this is not going to be cleaned up today and it may not even be cleaned up tomorrow. That is a big deal if you commute into or out of Nashville on I-24 uh, because this is a major, major thoroughfare into and out of town. As we pull up just even more, uh, you can see what this is doing to traffic. Tennessee Highway Patrol and TDOT officials have been diverting folks off of I-24 onto OHB so that they can either get onto Briley Parkway or onto I-65 and head south of town. Uh, fortunately, it is Sunday morning, but this is still uh, one of the major highways that comes into and out of Nashville. So this is a big deal. Uh, and again, we don't know how long it's going to be before they can get this cleaned up. TDOT officials would like to have this cleaned up right now, but that is just out of their control. There is nothing they could do uh, because here around 7.30 on Sunday morning, a few hours after this all occurred, we are still seeing pieces of debris and rock just sliding away from the earth here. Um, again, we have been told that they do not think that anyone was injured when this happened. However, I was just kind of uh, looking through some emails here and uh, we, we got a Facebook post from a woman who said that she was actually driving by right as this happened and the way that she described it was quote it looked like a waterfall coming off a cliff face uh, and of course there was just so much rain overnight around two o'clock this morning the rain had kind of let up uh, but still you just have to think about how much moisture and saturation was in all of this for this uh, to be able to give way like this you can see that we are talking about a piece of earth that is at least of 100 yards in length if not 200 yards uh, and you can see where it has just kind of separated uh, from itself there. The top layer there, that's just uh, leaves that usually are kind of sitting on top of the, the dirt. Everything else beneath it is just soaked. Uh, and this is just, there's an incredible amount of weight to all of this uh, as it kind of gave way here. We are hoping to get TDOT officials on the air here, uh, not this morning, at least sometime during the day here. But again, they are kind of beside themselves right now trying to figure out uh, what they're going to do here in terms of next steps. Once this even gets shored up, uh, it may even be a while before TDOT comes in and they, they might have to put up some metal fencing, some of that netting, to make sure that this is safe for drivers. But again, right now, I-24 north of Nashville shut down because of a rock slide. We're going to continue to...